Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you are having a fantastic day. My name is Annette. I am coming to you from beautiful southwestern New York. We are actually having a gorgeous afternoon. Um, unfortunately, we're going to drop down to 26 degrees tonight, but I'm hoping that this is the last of our frosts. I'm trying to take advantage of our nice day today. I've got some things going on. The animals are scattered around here like they're dead today, they're just enjoying the sun, all laying out, sunbathing. Um, some of what I've got going on is building another raised bed. I'm not going to do a whole lot of filming on that. You already watched me build this one. Uh, same basic concept. I have to make it to match because of where I have to place this. Um, this one, however, is going to be an 8 by 8 this one back here is a four by four. That is strictly, um, I don't want to say it's a decorational one. It was put there to protect the cherry tree, which you can see is doing lovely. Um, the bark is starting to heal down in it. I had planted, I was going to put, um, uh, all my herbs in here. And instead I ended up planting rhubarb and asparagus. Hey, Toby. What are you doing, buddy? Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. So you can see I've got two panels done here. <laughs> Funny story. I don't enjoy cutting. I do. I mean, I will cut if I can use the chop saw or the radial arm saw. I love doing it that way. Um, we don't have any extension cords, any heavy-duty extension cords right now that are in one complete piece because we have a couple of dogs that find it fun to chew on them and chew the ends off of them, one of which she just walked over here. Rosie does it. She's the main culprit. It's all your fault, Rosie. You're the reason why we have no extension cords that are functioning. So what Joe ends up doing is he hardwires the extension cord to whatever it is that he had it plugged into when she chewed it. I'm not going to do that. And I haven't gotten down to the store to get to buy another one. So I am putting this box together with the vertical supports and the horizontal pieces. One end is flush. The other end needs cut off, so I'm going to try to get it together so that when Joe comes home, he can take the chainsaw or he can hardwire the fetch saw or whatever he needs to do and cut it off and it'll be done. The purpose of this 8x8 eight eight box is we are getting bees on Friday. No, we were getting bees on Friday. My son's coming in Friday. I had to reschedule the bees, so we're actually getting bees on Saturday morning now. I have to drive an hour and a half to the next county up to pick up the bees at 7.30 in the morning. I did have them over here. Well, this is where I originally was going to set up the bee garden. I bought a bunch of perennial flowers um, to plant around the hive so that they have pollen right away. And, of course, I'll do the, the sugar feeder, the sugar water. But my problem with this space, while it's protected from the wind... It's too shady. So as much as I would love to have them over here where we would just have this path going through here to get down along the outside of the pig pasture. And this is going to be the gate over here for the pig pasture. And this is going to be some garden space here. That would be ideal. But we don't get super hot summers. So I'm afraid that this is not going to be sunny enough and warm enough for them especially when the wind starts to blow really Ringo he just crawled underneath um, Abby so that's what I'm doing is I'm building the garden for the bees and I'm stressing hard about where to place them because I really really wanted them over here and now I think I have to keep them over there as you can see, we have yet to do anything with the garden because we're still freezing temperatures. Past two nights and tonight are going to be the worst. And then, like I said, I think we're getting past it. Um, 
I'm dropping down to, it was 28 last night. I think they're calling for 26 tonight. And then from there, we're going to be in the 40s and 50s overnight continuously, at least as far as I can see. So hopefully by beginning of next week, I'll be able to get a few things in. Rusty. Hi, buddy. You're so dirty. You keep rolling in the dirt. You happy boy? Oh, there's only one of you in there today. Hi, Gilbert. Hi, buddy. approximately what size it's going to be the inside edges obviously um, just really not thrilled with it being right there I can move it back a little bit more toward the bank I'm keeping it on this side because I want to use those few trees as much as possible for a windbreak because we get some crazy prevailing winds coming up over that hill um, so I don't know. I'm just not thrilled with it being there. I might not actually put it together until after Joe comes home and uh, cuts it and we discuss this a little bit more. This hill right here, this, this driveway, the trail, whatever it is, this is the space that's going to eventually be kennel run area and garage and wood burner and all that good stuff. We have it angled down. It, it leads right into the trail. I'm going to actually close this off. We're going to fill it in and um, turn this into just the flat part of the yard. It'll have an embankment on it like this side does. And we'll just turn that into a closed yard. I don't see where we need to have access to drive through the yard. I'd like to have... The house sits on a third of an acre. I would like to have an actual yard and be able to have some flowers and not driving paths everywhere so that's my goal here is to get this filled in closed off and just have it an embankment like the rest of it and i mean this trail goes the whole way up around the house and down to the other down the driveway down to the lane so there's plenty of space Unfortunately, I missed it. I was hoping to be able to catch Callie. She was down there rolling. You can see she's just not even the right color anymore because the dust is so bad. We went from having rain for six days straight to haven't had any rain since, and it's been like two and a half weeks. So, yeah, we are desperately in need of some rain. Everything is dry and dusty, and the animals are enjoying it, I guess, but I'm not so much. Okay, I got all the sides done. Um, it's probably going to do it for me for today. Um, I need to clean up my mess here and go clean up my house. Uh, my son and his boyfriend are coming in tonight from Wisconsin. I'm so excited to see them. 
I have not seen Colton since last October, um, early October. So their weather's pretty much like ours is. So winters suck and nobody wants to be out driving in it. They're coming in for a week to hang out through Memorial Day. Next weekend is Memorial Day weekend and most of the rest of the family's coming up for the weekend. Uh, they're gonna start trickling in on Thursday. Somebody on Thursday, somebody on Friday, maybe another one on Saturday. I don't know exactly who all's coming. Don't know exactly how long they're staying. But uh, usually we're pretty good until Sunday. They start filing back out on Sunday and Monday. So, yeah, i got a house to clean and dishes to do. And I've got laundry already out and hung because Xavier leaves this weekend for a four-day field trip to Washington, D.C. and Gettysburg. So that's super exciting. He'll leave Sunday and come back Wednesday night. So I'm excited for him. We grew up down in that area. So for me, Gettysburg's just a hop, skip, and a jump away up here. <laughs> Gettysburg is uh, a four-day trip, Gettysburg and D.C. So we were about an hour and a half from D.C. where we lived down in Pennsylvania and about 45 minutes from Gettysburg. So now it's a four day trip for them. But I've got cleaning to do, I've got organizing to do, make sure that bedding's all washed and ready to go and figure out where everybody's going to sleep next weekend. So I think that's going to do it. And um, hopefully I'll jump back on here on Saturday when we get the bees and have something to show you. So uh, by then the garden that I'm trying to build right now will be together and be planted. I can't plant anything today. My house is littered with flowers and plants right now and I can't do anything about it because of the frost yet tonight. So hopefully we move past this and I can start to get my stuff done and feel like everybody else. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you have a fantastic day. See ya.